afternoon, brother. This is Doug White down here in Alabama. <clears throat> uh, I got this. Uh, we were talking about this yesterday. Hebrews 6. And uh, start that at 4 and go through 6. I'd like to further uh, expound on this just a little bit. Got a little pushback yesterday. Put it nicely. <laughs> a little pushback on this. I want to show you. Uh, why I believe this way, you know, why I, uh, I think that uh, these are God's people. I don't want to make it real clear right here to start with. I believe that these people are not people going to a devil's hell. I don't believe they're going to a devil's hell. I believe these are God's people that, for whatever reason, they backslid, probably went back into the temple and making animal sac sacrifice. They were, uh, uh, in my view, uh, they fell away from the truth. And, but I still believe they were God's own people because of the language here, brothers and sisters. And uh, <clears throat> I'd like to show you a little bit clearer here, if you give me a minute. And, uh, of course, I said this this expands God's love. And, it, it, and what I believe is it, it kind of uh, coincides over there with Romans 11 where he's talking about they were enemies for your sake. So these men, these people that fell away were enemies of the gospel, yet they were God's people. Is and well, anyway, I'll get into that later. But I want to show you here why I believe that this is talking about God's people that fell away, and they, this is where we get our great multitude from, brothers and sisters, because God, there's no condition in our salvation. So Jesus died for a people, and these people. I want to make it real clear here. He's not going to lose one of his people. And they, but these people fell away, fell, and they sinned against God. But they are God's own people, in my view, and I'll tell you why. Let's just read this real quick. <clears throat> it says right here, For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened. Okay, they were enlightened. I don't believe they were just hanging around. I believe they were enlightened. You know, acting like, you know, uh, you know I don't believe they were just hanging around, you know, weeds hanging around. I believe they were enlightened, you know. The devil's folks, they're not enlightened at all, the way I see it. Okay, and have tasted of heavenly gifts, look, taste of heavenly gifts, and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. Brothers and sisters, made partakers, not asked to be partakers, made, made partakers, say. And that, that goes right along. When, it, when this word made is key here, brother. Because they were made. They weren't asked. They were just, that's how salvation is. The Holy Ghost comes in. We're made. See? So if I believe that this word made seals it right here. That they were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. These people had the Holy Ghost, which means they'll be in heaven when we get there, brothers and sisters. That's good news because you and me, we might mess up and have some unbelief too down along the road. And no telling what was coming down the road for them right here. This could have been the... Well, this is what, personally, I believe that, the, that there was a great tribulation since the world had, had begun was coming right around to these Hebrews. And so a lot of them uh, uh, checking out and we went back to the law keeping and, you know, they didn't want to go any further. But I believe in the fact these were God's people because the God's people were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. That's salvation, brothers and sisters. And, of course, they failed, but uh, I believe they're God's own people. Okay, let me look right here. Jesus shed his blood for him. That's what I believe. But look right here, brother. <clears throat> look right here. Okay. Here, here, this goes right along with the Holy Spirit over here. It says, For well, by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jew or Gentile, whether we bond or free, and have, been, and have all been made to drink into one Spirit. For well, the body is not one member but many. And anyway, it goes on here to say we can't say we don't want to be a part of this body. <laughs> we can't say to the hand over here that we don't want to be a part of it because we're all one body, brothers and sisters. We can't say we don't have need of our brothers and sisters. But anyway, uh, look, made to drink. The same made over here, made partakers of the Holy Ghost, made to drink into one spirit. Say, we're made to drink. That's why I believe that, brothers and sisters, down here in Alabama. But this, that this is talking about God's people 
that failed went back probably went back into the temple and started making animal sacrifices which was still standing at the time in the first century and uh they fell away right here before probably before the thing was torn down they fell away and went back the other way that means there's no sacrifice you know that's why they had the no sacrifice speech right in here but look here's one other thing that you need to uh that i believe is uh <clears throat> evidence of this it says to renew them again unto repentance hey brothers and sisters i put this in the other view in the other one but i didn't you know well i didn't put the first part of this where it says uh made to made to drink and made uh partakers it's how, it, how that coincides i didn't put that in the first one so these people in my view brothers and sisters were made to drink were made partakers this proves right well, no shadow of a doubt these are god's people it failed him, just like you and me do. Lord, help my unbelief. I believe, Lord, but Lord, help my unbelief. You see what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? These brothers and sisters are, are going to be in God's heaven. He's not going to lose one. Not one is not one of God's people are going to go missing. But a lot of them fail him every day. I know I do. But anyway, uh, I just want to put that out there. I left it out of that other video. And, uh, Got a little pushback on it, to say the least. <clears throat> on the, uh, but uh, this is my view. And I want uh, somebody to straighten me out on that if you want to. <laughs> straighten me out on it. Pray for me and get me straight, this old man down here in Alabama. But right now, I can't see it any other way. Any other way. Made to drink of the Spirit over here. Made partakers of the Holy Ghost here. These are God's people. God's own people, brothers and sisters. Who failed him just like we do every day and uh, but nonetheless they're going to be in god's kingdom in the uh, world to come in my view but anyway I, i'll wind wind this little one up right here and uh see what everybody's got to say about it but uh like I say if anybody's uh differ on the matter uh oh yeah <clears throat> that when i said about the talk about the tail i wasn't referring to myself <laughs> I was referring to some of my uh, my people out there that disagree with me on this on, the, on some of these matters. But I will get this one uh, hashed out real quick and see what people think about it. But uh, no, these are God's people. I want to make it perfectly uh, make myself perfectly clear. These are God's people that failed Him, but they were made to drink, made to drink, not asked to drink, not hanging around acting like they were God's people, but they were God's own people. Who probably went back under the uh, back in and started and fell away, and were making uh, temple sacrifices just like it says over in Romans eleven that it, they were enemies. Paul said they were enemies, but they were enemies, but uh, uh, concerning the gospel. But they were uh, uh, beloved of the Father for the election's sake. But anyway, I won't get into that right now. But let's get this one out and we can get, get some comments on it if somebody wants to comment. But uh, well, uh, it doesn't matter anyway. It doesn't matter uh, if, it, if everybody should act like, well, if he's not going to lose one, so we shouldn't be uh, ripping one another to shreds <laughs> if he's not going to lose one, see, brother and sister. That doesn't make good horse sense. So uh, he's not going to lose one uh, of his people. We know that. And uh, uh, so that's the good news behind all of this. Uh, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't, uh, affect anybody by anything I say. I can't I can't change that number by anything I would say, uh, right or wrong. But I believe it'll bring more joy to somebody out there that's listening. Anyway, peace and love from this old boy down here in Alabama on Hebrews 6 and 6. Or 6, 4 through. Well, you start at Hebrews 6 and go, go through there. Remember these two things. Renew them again under repentance. Oh, you had to repent one time before you, before you, you know, God had to grant you repentance one time before you had to renew you again. And so that's, that's talking about God's people. But the big thing here I left out yesterday was made partakers of the Holy Ghost. Not ask, made partakers of the Holy Ghost. That's the rebirth. And over here it says, made to drink into one spirit. So this same Holy Spirit, we're made to drink. This is talking about God's people in this poor sinner's view down here in Alabama. I get back with you. Peace and love.